Hey there, YouTube. Thank you for checking out the Tactical Parts Review. So, this is just going to be a little bit of an expansion of my first video I made in the intro. So, it's just going to be a talking video. So, if you're looking for a gun, here is a lower. It is a Poverty Pony. Yes, I do. First budget build that I built the lower, and I still haven't put an upper on it. And I've had this for a long time, so. All right, let's get into it. So, we're gonna expand on today on why I decided to make a YouTube. Well, kind of the reason is, is for longevity, again. What kind of started it, you know, AMB Safeties. Um, a lot of people recommended stuff that just didn't work, and then it took me a while to figure out why it didn't work. But kind of going on before that, this is my hobby, this is what I like doing, is building ARs, so. Kind of what got it started is a friend of mine who passed away said, uh, you do all these parts, you try parts, you go to these classes, you know, you're running your stuff pretty hard uh, for an everyday guy, and you build, why don't you just uh, start a YouTube and just help people out, you know? Say, you're willing to put it through high round counts, you buy parts, like... No tomorrow, this is your hobby, this is what you like to do instead of gaming or playing golf or going hitting the bar scene hard, you build ARs, why not just provide that data for people? And I said, well, I don't know, I was kind of up in the air on it, and I didn't know how to do it. Second reason was is I was watching a video from the AK Operators Union where he would test AKs and give updates every so often. I want to say a thousand rounds, and I thought that was a great idea, and I wish that that was in the AR-15 upper world. So that is kind of why I decided to make this YouTube, is because I said, wouldn't it be great if a YouTuber were to give periodic updates so that you as a consumer can say what round count worked for me? What can I expect roughly, keyword is roughly, in data, listening to some everyday guy who just paid for his own stuff? Um, again... I do pay for my own stuff. Uh, that's kind of me. If I ever did get anything from, like, if a friend of mine were to say, hey, I got you this as a birthday gift, then you know what? I will let you know. <laughs> but doesn't influence my decision either way. I will still try it. My other third goal is I'm not here to bash companies. Um, if something comes in that is wrong, I will let you know why, what I did to fix it. My number one goal is to fix stuff. Uh, again, I tinker with stuff. But... For those of you who don't like messing with stuff and building ARs, etc., you just buy the complete upper, call it a day. You know, I want to at least provide that data to you so then that way you can decide if the problem that I found, if I find one, is worth it for you. You know, because some people like messing with stuff, some people don't. Like me, if I ever get a bad upper, my experience is I'll just figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. And that's kind of how I do things. But whereas other people don't like messing with stuff, and I totally get it. Some people just, you know, don't know what this is. This is a hammer. But jokes aside, you get what I'm saying. So let's do a review on this beer. Ham's beer. Just kidding. It's a, uh, eh, you know, nothing fancy. So another reason why is because I do take my stuff through classes like I like testing parts through classes and some people that know me in Minnesota that see me at a class always joke around about how I just run different things at all times. It's because for me, it's just curiosity, to be honest, um, like I still train, I actually train and I have the means to do so. So why not? I love the hobby. This is what I do. Why not? I share that with you. Um, like, I'll be testing various different parts, like pistol grips and, you know, parts that you are looking at. Because I know a lot of you, if you're like me, you go on YouTube, you look and see something, somebody recommends something. And I'm sure every one of you have had something that was at one point recommended because, you know, a presenter's job is just going to show you the parts and then it broke. Um, and then you learn from someone like me who says... Hey, I bought this that this was highly recommended and it sucked. Um, again, instead I'm going to take it to the next level. Instead of saying it sucks, I'm going to say here's why it didn't function. 
and it was actually a user install error and you should have just changed the screws out or something. Again, my goal is to figure it out so that you as a potential buyer, you if you bought something that you don't feel good about that you have on your AR, you know, I can help you at least fix it. Um, again, I am not by any means like a CNC machinist. I just am an average guy who works nine to five somewhere. I'm not like Delta Force Spec Ops dude, um, literally. And we need those kind of people out there testing stuff and stuff like that in that kind of harsh environment. But for me, I'm just the everyday guy, just like you. So that's why I'm making this is I'm testing the gear based on the everyday person who may occasionally take a class who will go to a range and enjoy shooting it you know and that is my job potentially you know to let you know that data and we do need the people that put stuff through high test too you know like regular guy firearms uh his channel is definitely awesome they put rifles through the ringer and high round counts. Honest Outlaw also does some some of his videos he does some high round counts through it I put XYZ and, you know, he gives good, honest feedback. So just as an example, and then you got Grand Thumb, who puts definitely puts stuff through the ringer. But, you know, they're like, those guys, they get flooded with tons of people wanting to work with them, etc., etc. They don't have time to do the updates that I want to do. Uh, regular guy, Firearms, he still does. But, you know, it does take a while for him because he's got, like, you know, a business to run, too. You know, he trains people for a living. Well, I'm just regular average Joe. Whereas I don't have to train, and I don't have the means to train as hard as he does to get a video up, you know, like that. Whereas instead I can provide the feedback from an everyday guy who's just like, hey man, I have a 9 to 5 job, and you know, I go shooting on the weekends, and then I take a class maybe once, once every month and a half. I mean, that's just me though. So I just want to provide that honest feedback to you, and... Let you know, and I thought it was a great idea with the AK Operators Union about round counts. So then you can see approximately if something goes wrong, what round count did it do? What fix did I have to do to fix it? So then that way you as the potential buyer can look at it and say, you know what, this might be worth it to me. Or you as a potential buyer may say, I don't like tinkering with stuff, I'm going to stay away. Or for you, okay, maybe I might be able to do that, but then how do I fix it? And then I can show you how to fix it and let you know. So then that way you don't, you know, go in blind. And that's kind of why I'm making this is because I just want to provide honest feedback. This is my hobby. This is what I like to do. Some people like golf. Again, me, I like building ARs. So I'm going to be testing different parts. Again, I am biased. A little bit more about me in case you really cared. I am biased when it comes to my own rifles that I would grab for, like, you know, self-defense, etc., etc. There's stuff I like on my rifles versus others. There's stuff I don't. So, but we're going to be trying not only the stuff I like, but we're going to be trying the stuff that I don't like. Example being bad levers. I am not a fan of them. I don't like stuff in the trigger guard is literally my only reason. Plus, they snag, but... I just don't like stuff in my trigger guard, but, you know, I do have some bad levers. We're going to be trying those, too. I'm just debating on what lower I want to put them on, and I might go out and buy some lowers just to put bad levers on them to test them. So, anyway, a little bit of... This is the tactical parts review. Again, my job is to view parts and see how they last, how long they last, how they function, how they hold up in a class, what I think about it. Of course, I'm always going to put in my opinion... But kind of some of my advice to you is don't base everything off of my opinion. Just because I, if something worked for me, it might not work for you. And vice versa. Something might not work for you that works great for me. So kind of um, you just got to use the data for what you see it. Like the data that I want to provide you is just a small part in your research on what part might be good for you or maybe you might you should never take anything every any youtuber says is law like hey this works great you should look at and see what multiple people are saying about it and gauge your opinion and purchase on that that's what you should do but if you're looking for this for entertainment just out of curiosity like example my grid defense kind of review on the 16 inch upper if you were looking 
at it for that reason and as for mere entertainment and validity because chances are you already purchased it with how cheap it is and you're looking to see how it lasted um there you go that's why i'm going to be giving up updates on stuff is because again i think that ak operators union i think he really did it right when he started testing those ak's and giving updates on round counts and again i wish more youtubers would give those updates every thousand or so rounds, you know? Every thousand rounds is what I decided I'm gonna do for ARs, every 500 for pistols. Just so you can look, see, and decide for yourself. A um, Little bit about me, I work a nine to five job. Uh, I was in the military, but nothing spectacular. You know, I'm not high speed or a badass. I was just a cab scout who, you know, just showed up, did his thing, got out, and then, you know, my own not, I'm not a law enforcement or a sheriff. I mean, I did do some security work, you know, but nothing really fancy or high speed, you know. I'm just your regular, regular everyday guy who goes to his 9-to-5 job, come homes, and has a beer. Um, cheap beer. Yeah, this is really bad beer, by the way. So, beer review. Taste. Terrible. Ham's beer, everyone. Just kidding. If you're looking for a cheap beer you can find these for a ton of cans usually i keep them in the fridge close to my shop because you know i like my good stuff up where i can grab it when i have to you know when i want to watch a movie or something so anyway um also a little about me is i'm not a gamer you know yes i am 30 years old i grew up in the 90s so as of this video i'm 30 but you know i'm not a big gamer again nothing against gamers it's just this is my hobby, is building ARs and looking up AR parts. So a couple updates I want to do is I'm going to be looking at stocks, um, fixed stocks. That is the number one thing. I kind of am digging the retro builds lately lately, and kind of retro-inspire builds. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be doing all parts. Like I said, parts that I normally don't put in my AR. Again, I am a snob. And sometime in the future, I'm going to show you what I like in my AR, what I personally look for and what I personally put into it. Um, I'm still debating on whether or not I want to do that video. And kind of my reason for it is because, again, I'm trying to be as unbiased and unsnobbish as possible when it comes to my videos. Uh, again, my job is just to test the parts and I'll give my opinion on what I thought, like, hey, I'm surprised this worked or B. Like my Keltec, I'm still surprised that even had no malfunctions in the first hundred rounds of, uh, again. But since, you know, you shouldn't take what a YouTuber says as law, you should use the data that a YouTuber gives to kind of gauge your purchases. Like, hey, this person said this, this person said that, okay, there's a consistency there, then buy. That's how I usually, when I'm looking at a new product, go for it. Now, I'm just going to be buying the product testing it and saying, here's what I found. Um, again, don't take what I say as law, just take it as, okay, this is what this one person had. How does it compare to everyone else? He could just be unlucky, which I frequently am. I get a lot of lemons, but most importantly, the thing that, want, that I want to do that sets me aside from others is I want to figure out what went wrong, how to fix it. That is my number one thing, just so that I can give that data. Maybe for you, you're like me and just love the hobby of building, and you can fix it. Well, I want to tell you that you can, and then I want to let you know what I did to fix it. Or maybe you are one of those types who are like, hey, you know, I don't like f messing with stuff. I mean, I want to get this part in my rifle, but, you know, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to tweak it, and if it breaks, I'm going to be pissed. And, you know, then you as a consumer can decide for yourself. That's all I'm making this channel for, is that you as a consumer can say, hey, it's worth it to me, and not talking about a group consensus. I'm talking about you as an individual can say, I want it or I don't want it for this reason. So... That's why I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to show you what I like in my rifle because we all have different uses. Again, I'm in Minnesota, land of the ice and snow. And another reason is, is I'm from Minnesota in the land of the ice and snow. Why I wanted to create this is to provide data on optics and batteries and gear that may fail in a polar vortex. We haven't had one yet, so... Honestly, we've had a warm winter, so I'm thinking next winter I'm going to get all the stuff that I want to test in it. 
and then throw it all into the fire at once. So winter's next winter is going to be a crazy one. I decided I'm going to hold off on my Hollow Sun review and the ice and snow on how it lasts. And my reason is is because I want to test it comparable and get a sizable amount of optics that you may or may not be looking at for it. So, um, again, that may change if we do get a polar vortex in February like we did last year. So we're kind of going to go from there. <clears throat> so again, this is the Tactical Parts Review. My name is Chris, and again, I'm not here to get famous. I'm not here to be a somebody, a big person. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, it don't. But most importantly is I just want to provide honest feedback and from an everyday nobody perspective, which is most people that watch. We're not all high-speed operators, you know what I mean? I take advice from them because they know what they're talking about. <clears throat> Especially when it comes to training. Especially when it comes to what gear they use and like. I like to try it and say, is this good for me? But then I also like to go off the norm of what people don't try. Just not to be counterculture, but just because people do buy it, obviously. There's a reason these companies are still in business, and I want to see if they work. And give a regular, everyday person to say, hey, you know what? Maybe you don't need to pay 150 bucks for this. Maybe you can get away with this part that is 80 bucks." You know what I'm saying? As an example. And that's kind of why I want to do this channel too. Is I just want to give honest feedback of all price ranges from budget to high end to mid range. Because maybe there's going to be some high end stuff that you pay for that really you shouldn't be paying for. So I figure since I got the means to do so, I will just provide that data because this is my hobby. I like testing stuff. And yes, when it comes to giveaways, eventually I'm going to start up the giveaways. Uh, again, I have bought a lot of parts that me personally I did not like in my rifles that I will be giving away for free. And I do mean that. I have plenty of stuff right now, especially when it comes to bad levers that I'm going to be giving away. So, not just bad levers, but stuff like it. So, as an example, who here wants a clevis pin? Yeah, let me pull it out. Who here wants a clevis pin? By the way, these things are great. You want one? Trust me, you can buy these on Amazon for dirt cheap. These things help you install. Trust me. They will save you a lot of money and a lot of detents, springs and pins. So, Anyway, this is the Tactical Parts Review. My name is Chris, and I'm here to help. So cheers, everybody, for the weekend. Look forward to you in the next video, and I got some updates for you later. Cheers.